Hey guys, Kayla here. It's always been really important for me to use my platform not to create division, but to elevate and unite women, Black women specifically. So I prepared a letter and would like to share it with you today. Dear Black girl, they may call you a traitor for falling in love. You'll hope the ones closest will protect you, but you will quickly find out that people don't protect what they don't value. They'll say you're too much, too provocative, too boisterous, too outspoken, and in the same breath tell you that you're not enough, not successful enough, not wholesome enough, maybe not even intelligent enough. They'll say you deserve the backlash and embarrassment because of your blackness, you should have known better. They'll even try to tie your value to your net worth. But black girl, please remember your value lies elsewhere. Your value is deep within your heart, the way you love, the way you give. Your value is in your resilience, your willingness to forgive. The way you protect what means most to you, even if it hurts you along the way. And the way you stand up for what means most to you, even though they may not ever do the same. But black girl, respectfully, let me stop you there because you don't have to participate in this tumultuous, often one-sided journey. Preserve your heart. Even when they try to quantify your character and test your boundaries, you do not have to engage. You do not have to respond because there is power in your silence. And you can use that same power to silence the noise and the self-doubt. Silence the voices within that want you to give in to this demoralizing and antiquated narrative. Tap into that power. Because I know, girl, the rage of the world is loud. But black girl, your God is louder and your tribe is stronger. Your blood runs deeper and is filled with strength. And when you finally find the strength to speak your truth, it is your voice that will help heal. Because black girl, let me tell you, you're not in this alone. And even though sometimes I too ask, why me? <laughs> I'm reminded that this isn't just about me. This isn't just my story, a singular experience. My truth, trauma, and vulnerability is a relatable part of the human experience. I know I'm not alone, and I wanna make sure that you know you aren't either. On days where I feel most inadequate, I have to remind myself that I am, have been, and will always be more than enough. Look, we love, we hurt, we heal, but always remember that your story is yours to tell. And you never know whose life it may touch because there is so much power in community and connection. So dear black girl, when the world gets dark and times get hard, when you feel like your back is against the wall and your hands are tied like nobody knows or understands what it takes to be you, remember that you are a part of something way bigger. This is only a small chapter in your story. And if you need help, there are resources like therapy, prayer, and community to help you make it through. But most importantly, I want you to remember that you are loved, you are valued, you are allowed to take up space, you deserve protection, and your feelings, they matter too, solely because you're a black girl. Sincerely, a black girl.